What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy Chinese takeout recipe which is chicken and broccoli. So here's all of what you're going to be using for this recipe. It's quick, it's easy, and it's simple. And as usual, the ingredient amounts will be listed in the description below. We're going to start out with two chicken breasts. We'll slice those thin in a few. We got some broccoli, some thinly sliced carrot, oyster sauce, Shaoxing wine, light soy sauce, chicken broth, dark soy sauce, sesame oil, white pepper, brown sugar, cornstarch, the white pepper is actually right here in the middle, and right here, bacon soda, and salt. And here we have ginger and garlic. So let's get this started. We're gonna start out by slicing our chicken breast and getting it into a marinade. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to cut this chicken. First you wanna just take it and slice it down the middle. Just get that one out of the way. And you just wanna cut it on an angle in thin strips. Make sure your knife is sharp enough. This is what you want your chicken to look like, at least like this thin. Okay, I'll show you a few more slices, then I'm gonna finish the rest off camera so we can get started on the marinade. Remember, remember you want it to be about this size. Okay guys, so I'm going to finish cutting this chicken and I will be right back. Okay guys, so we're going to be starting with our marinade. Here's our chicken that we sliced up earlier. We're just going to add those spices and powders to it just like that. Then you want to add your wine, your Shaoxing wine. Then you want to add your soy sauce. Then you just want to mix it. Make sure that it's thoroughly mixed and everything is well incorporated because you don't want any parts where there's more baking soda than other ingredients in here because it will clump up. And this will make the chicken velvety and you know easy to manage and tender. So I'm gonna massage this for about a minute or so and you should do the same. And then we'll get ready to cook these in about a half an hour after marinating. Okay, so there's our marinated chicken. Let's get ready to blanch our broccoli and our carrots. Okay, so we're gonna add our broccoli to the rapid boiling water that's salted. Then we're gonna add our carrots. Now we're gonna add this broccoli that we just blanched to a nice ice bath along with the carrots. Let them get shocked so it can keep his vibrant green color. Then we're gonna let that hang out for a second. Okay, now we're gonna take our broccoli that we just blanched and cool down in a ice bath and set it on some paper towel to let the excess water drip out because I don't like putting it directly into the wok because the excess water that's stuck in the, the top parts of the uh, broccoli will definitely thin your sauce out and it won't be any good. So you definitely wanna do this unless you know another method, but this is what I like to do. Okay, so we're gonna let our broccoli hang out a little bit on this paper towel to get rid of the excess water so it doesn't thin our sauce out so let's get started with making our sauce and then we'll follow with making the chicken okay so for our sauce we will be starting off with three tablespoons of oyster sauce there's one we got two whoa and three next we'll be adding our Shaoxing wine
Now we'll be adding our soy sauce, the dark soy sauce. Light soy sauce. Sesame oil. Chicken stock, brown sugar, salt, and our cornstarch. That completes it. Now you want to make sure this is mixed thoroughly until everything is completely dissolved. You don't want to leave any clumps of cornstarch. Okay. I'm gonna finish mixing this and we're gonna get started on searing our chicken. Okay, so you wanna add your oil to your wok and make sure that your wok isn't turned on. You wanna turn on your flames after you add your oil because you don't want it to pop in your face. Then you just want to move your oil around in your wok just to get it lightly coated. Okay, so our chicken is done. We're just gonna take it out and set it aside on another plate. And we'll get ready to complete this meal. Okay guys, once you get your chicken removed, you wanna add a little bit of oil. And right to that, you're gonna wanna add your ginger and your garlic. Toss that around a little bit until it becomes fragrant. Then you're gonna push it to the side and add everything else. But I'll show you. Okay, that's enough. Now you wanna go ahead and add your broccoli and carrots to your pan or your wok. You guys, also remember you don't have to use a wok. If you don't have one, it's fine. Just use a wide pan and your dish will still come out really good. You wanna make sure you're not overcooking that garlic and ginger because that burnt taste is not a good one. So we're gonna let that go for about a minute. Then you're gonna add your chicken back to your wok or your pan. Okay, so guys, at this point, it is definitely okay to add your chicken back to the pan. That looks good already and it smells amazing. Okay, let's introduce some heat back to the chicken. And then we're gonna add our sauce. Then we're gonna plate this with some white rice. Man, listen. And guys, if you didn't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment, and also share and definitely hit that notification bell so that you will know when I post in the next recipe to my channel okay guys so it's time for the sauce And you 
want to get that sauce all through. Wow, look at that, guys. Get a close-up. Look at that gravy down there. You just want to do this about three to four minutes until that sauce thickens up. And then it's ready to eat. Quick and easy meal. An easy takeout meal. It's actually better than takeout because you made it at home and you know exactly what's in it. So we're going to let that sauce thicken up a little bit. Once you see it thickens up, guys, that's it. Turn it off. And there you have it, guys. Our chicken and broccoli easy takeout is done. Look at that beautiful gravy on the bottom. Look at that. Come on, guys. You can't get this wrong. Make sure you give this recipe a try. Okay, let's plate up with some white rice. And that's going to be it, guys. Okay, guys. So our meal is done. And it looks absolutely delicious. Here's a close-up. Look at that. Yes. Listen, guys. You got to try this recipe. It's an easy takeout meal that we all know whenever we go to a Chinese restaurant. And we love it. So definitely give this recipe a try. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. And I will definitely respond. So I'll see you guys in the next video.